Hi children, come we'll see the next topic in the third chapter soil. Okay, take your textbook, take page number 198. Okay, come we'll see the types of soil. What are the types of soil? We know no. So, the types of soil are formed from different types of rocks. Okay, and also the color of the soil depends on minerals present in the rocks. Okay. It may be brown, black or red. Okay. So, the types of soil is depends on the types of rocks from which rock it is formed. Okay. And also the color depends on the minerals of the what present in the rock. Okay. Understood children. Come we will see about that. Sandy soil. So, first one is sandy soil. Sandy soil. This type of soil has more sand particles in it. Okay. More sand particles. So, what is sand? Sand is nothing but? Water, which is what some break having big pieces of rocks, okay. Okay, rocks break into big pieces means that each particle in the sand can be clearly seen. We can see the particles in the soil, okay. That is water, sand, okay. So, the sandy soil is the soil of type has more sand particles. The space between the particles is more and filled with air. Since the particles are big in size, the space between the particle is more okay, and filled with air. Between the particles, the space is more and it is filled with air. As water passes through these spaces easily, see, so that the water can pass through this easily, this soil cannot hold water. Okay, This soil cannot hold water because it allows the water to move freely. This soil is found on beaches and in deserts, okay, and in deserts, okay. So, we can see this type of soil, sandy soil in beaches and as well as in deserts, okay. Very few plants like bajra grow in such soil. That is why, see, since water is, not, the soil is cannot, not, the sandy soil cannot hold the water, so that, okay, the, this soil is not water. The plants will not grow in this soil. Okay, That is why we can't, we can see that uh, in beaches and all is there any, what we can see very few plants will grow. Okay, Some coconut trees what, like that will grow in that soil. Okay, And no other plants will not go, uh, grow in that soil. No, in deserts and all the plants like cactus, some plants will grow. Okay, We, can, we won't find some more what, greenery in that places. Why? Due to this soil, this type of soil, there won't be any plants in beaches and deserts. Okay. Why? Because the soil cannot hold the water, no, but the plants need water, okay. So, this type of soil is not fit for growing plants, okay. This, what, what type of soil? The sandy soil, okay. Very few plants like bajra grow in such soil. Understood children? Very few plants like bajra grow in such soil. Understood? So, you can, they may ask, okay, which in sandy soil, what, bajra? Very few plants like bajra can grow. Okay, come we will see the next type of soil. Go to next page, children. Next is clayey soil. What? Clayey soil. The soil has more clay particles in it. That is fine particles. Okay, fine particles. The soil has more clay particles. The particles are packed closely, and we know it is since it is very fine, there won't be any space in between the particles. So the particles are very what packed closely and the air space between them is very less okay clay soil is sticky and smooth to touch okay it's like a paste okay it is very sticky and smooth as the particles are closely packed it can hold water sugar can jute can like that like plants will grow in such soil okay understood children so sugar can jute like the like plants will grow in this soil, in clay soil, okay. Okay, the soil is very important to grow plants, no, for growing water, for the growth of plants, no, yeah, okay. Since the clay soil can hold water more, why? Because of the closely packed particles, okay. It can hold water, understood. So that, what it is, sugar can, jute can grow in this soil, understood. And clay soil is soft when wet and can be molded into different shapes, okay. So, since it is a paste like uh, thing, it is because it is sticky and smooth, no. And when it is wet, okay, 
it can be molded in different shapes okay it becomes very hard when it dries okay when it dries when the water get evaporated from that uh, clay soil it will become very hard okay so potters use this soil to make pots so potters use what type of soil to make pot clay soil understood children clay soil so tiles are also made out of this soil okay tiles are also tiles that we are using for making our floor no flooring in water in houses okay these tiles are also made of this clay soil understood and potters use this clay soil to make pots okay children because since it is very what stick we can mold it in different shapes no when it get dry it will be very hard so that we are using for making potters are using it for making pots okay that that is about clay soil okay come we'll see the next soil that is nothing but loamy soil what loamy soil see this soil is a mixture of sand and clay and humus okay so this soil in this soil it is a mixture of sand as well as clay as well as humus it holds enough water and air okay it holds enough water and air okay this soil is perfect for plant growth so which is the soil perfect for plant growth what loamy soil come we'll see why it is what fit what perfect for growing plants okay come we'll see that come we'll do an activity children see here see take three funnels like this okay these are all the funnels okay take three funnels and three measuring cylinders okay place a funnel on each cylinder okay on each cylinder place a funnel okay fill each funnel with different type of soil suppose see here you fill this with water sandy soil soil a is nothing but sandy soil okay Sa soil b that is clay soil okay understood children and soil c is loamy soil okay so fill the funnels with three different types of soils okay first funnel with sandy soil second funnel with clay soil and third funnel with loamy soil okay now pour water into each funnel and wait till it is absorbed okay pour water in each funnel in each funnel pour water and they wait till it up it is absorbed pour more water slowly and continuously till some water stands on the top in each funnel okay so how much water you should pour children you should pour water very slowly and continuously you should pour okay so that water till the water stands on the top in each funnel so up to this level okay up to top level you should pour water slowly and continuously okay so after some time observe how much water collects in the cylinders under each funnel okay observe how much water collected in the water cylinders under each funnel see we may observe that come children we may observe that look here if you take a sandy soil the water what you are pouring will you can see the maximum water level of water in the measuring cylinder why because the space between the particles are more in sandy soil no so that it allows the water to get into the cylinder okay because the water enters through the sandy soil easily that's why the soil sandy soil cannot hold water okay it will less hold water very less that's why the plants this is not fit for growing plants okay understood children see here more water will this or this yeah more water will enter into the cylinder why because the sandy soil allows the water to escape from it okay and if you take clay soil the part what the space between the particles is very less so that what very less water will come out from the funnel and more water will be there in the what funnel itself okay understood see more water will be there in the funnel itself because there is water the space between the particles of clay soil is very less so it won't allow water to escape from it so this is also see too much of water is also not good for growing plants no children so that it is suitable for sugar cane and jute some plants will grow it needs more water okay so that type of plants will grow in this clay soil and if you take loamy soil loamy soil is nothing but that is made up of sand clay and humus okay and since it has 
water enough space okay it will holds more amount of water water in it so the water level will be in the measuring cylinder will be not that much compared to sandy soil okay it will allow very less water okay to escape and it will hold water it will what hold enough water hold enough water okay so that this loamy soil is what good for the growth of plants and as children okay the soil that holds more water leaves less water into the cylinder see the soil that hold more water like clay soil no it will allow less water in the cylinder and okay if you take loamy soil it will hold enough water okay so that it is what the plant growth of plant will be good in this loamy soil understood children come we'll go to next page children what are the importance of soil okay come we'll see the importance of soil all living things need soil plants fix their roots in the soil and absorb water and minerals salts from it all the animals depend on plants for food okay so all living things need soil okay directly or indirectly all living things need soil because see animals depends on plants and plants water plants without soil there won't be plants okay so why because plant fix their roots in the soil no it fix the roots in the soil and also it absorb the water and minerals from the soil no understood children it takes the water and mineral from the soil so what without soil there won't be plants without plants there won't be animals and without any water so since the plants and animals and we human beings are all interdependent depend on each other okay so the soil is important for all living things we need soil to construct houses okay that we know no children for construction and purpose and all we need soil okay okay animals like rabbits mice snakes ants etc makes holes and burrows in the soil and live there look here see they are making for oh, what they are houses inside the soil no they are making burrows in the soil and live there okay to escape from the enemies and to escape from the cold water in summer season uh, some animals will what live in burrows in winter season they won't they can't able to be bear that much cold no so some animals will what live in the burrows for in winter season winter season and come out in summer season okay and they will take a long sleep that you know no children okay so animals makes their homes in burrow water inside the soil okay like rabbits mice snakes ants they make holes and burrows in the soil and live there okay many microorganisms live in the soil they break the dead plant and animal parts into simple substances called humus so in this soil water many microorganisms live in the soil see some bacteria fungi okay like that some microorganisms are also live in the soil so and they are also they break the dead plant and animal parts into simple substances okay which is called humus and we know humus is good for the growth of the plants no children okay understood and different plants grow in different soils farmers add manure and fertilizers to the soil and make it richer and more fertile okay so that they can get the water yeah they can grow more plants okay so by adding manure and fertilizers okay to the soil they make the soil very richer and more fertile this gives a better yield okay so that they can absorb, get a better yield understood children so different plants grow in different soil okay and see for the growth of plants they need soil okay by adding manure and fertilizers they make the soil more okay rich okay and more fertile so that the plants will grow okay with yeah good growth will be there in the plants okay they can get better yield okay within few months like that okay if the soil is rich in minerals rich in okay rich okay that means what it will have more nutrients in it understood children and pots bricks and tiles are made out of clay that we know no yeah since the clay is what very yeah we can mold it in different shapes the pot if we can make the potters make pots and bricks also made using the clay soil okay sand is used in making glass okay to make glass no glass sand 
so it is made up of sand only children okay so sand is used for in making glass okay understood children so these are all some of the uses of soil that means some of the importance of soil okay